Hello everybody, welcome back. I believe, if I remember correctly, it's time for us to give the Finger Slayer Blade to Rani at the top of Rani's Rise. So, let's get this underway. And I think what we're going to do is we are going to hand in the Finger Slayer Blade and then we're going to go into the um, carry and study hall. Now I know there's going to be a lot of people that want to know how we've done everything that we've just done. Long story short, you will need to have been to the Night's Sacred Ground and picked up the Finger Slayer Blade from here. Everything that you need for the walkthrough is in the walkthrough, and I'm not going to continually repeat absolutely everything that we've done up to this point. So, if you're joining just for this episode, you'll need to look back at how you get to this point. In any case, we want that. This is what's going to allow us to flip over the Carrion Study Hall. What is I to? And she should go to what sleep. To? That's what we want. We want you to go to sleep. Ooh. Let's just uh, quit out here and reload. So, as we load back in, what we should find is... No more Rani. Um, Rogier should have also gone to sleep in the round table hold. And Selvis will now also be dead. Although the dragon is still here. I thought the dragon might fly off. It's going to be a little bit of experimentation to see whether or not the dragon will still appear on the moonlight altar area then. So we'll find out shortly enough. Let's see if we can just drop under here as a shortcut. Like that. So we're going to run past the dragon for now. Um, there's a lot of stuff we want to grab here. Whilst we are in this zone we might as well grab um, Silivus Spellbearing. I believe Pity is Spellbearing as well. Pity dies along with Silivus. And the um, Frost Witch's set as well should be available over in Renala's Rise. So a fair few amount of things that we can do. But I think we'll leave Renala's Rise until after the Carrion Study because I'll name this episode after the Carrion Study so people will be, will be itching for that. <laughs> Either way, we come over here. Grab the spell bearing. As well as his arm set. His arm set looks pretty cool actually. Maybe that'll be my, my mage set as we as we progress forward. Um, and then we want the cliff just up this way. So with all that done then, we can make our way to the current study. So if you're interested in getting the witch's outfit now, there's no witch's outfit like Rani's outfit. It's going to be in this tower just here. But we'll use that at the end of the episode to set up for the next episode, basically. For now, <clears throat> it's time for us to take on the carrion study. So we'll start out at the eastern tableland. And then we can head on down the hill. Not to bother about fighting any of this stuff. We can... Uh, Really kind of sparkly there, wasn't it? That's kind of interesting how that was flickering the light there. I don't know if the YouTube coding will pick all that up, but here we go. Ah. Can't bring the map up to check them go the right way, but I'm pretty sure I am. That's the way the mark is, and there's the tower. So there is an enemy in here that can be kind of troubling. Um, I believe it is um, susceptible to poison, though, so. If you want to use something like that to your advantage, it could be a good strategy, but we have Bloodhound Steps. This is going to be easy, basically. Or should be. So the statue we just got goes on here, but we don't want to use that just yet. We want to deal with the normal way first. So I'm going to go on, on. Go on ahead and use the lift. Now, to the right side, we should have... Our best friends all over the place. I 
wonder if you could comment a zero out straight away. Or whether it still gets teleport. That'd be interesting to try. It's points like this where you should be able to tell that it's kind of going to be um, inverted at some point, which is what we're going to be doing fairly shortly. <laughs> Sorry, I've just got a bit of a sniffle on. My hay fever's affecting me right now. This is where the troubling enemy is going to be. Let's deal with these. Don't get chased around. What have I got? Here we have as well. <laughs> we're doing some significant damage right now. Uh, phase through that bad boy. Yeah. Damn it, a little chip damage is uh, actually more infuriating than you'd like it to be, isn't it, for me? Let's go ahead and put that on. I, sh I need to clear out my inventory again. I just don't like the idea of stuff chasing me, so we're just going to leave it. They're all spirits, so they can fade around. Gone again. Stop that. And glintstone staff. That could actually be quite useful. I'm using a lot of glintstone stuff right now. That would, in theory, increase the damage even more. I say in theory, probably will. And get some, probably get some outrageous damage out of it now. Where did you go? There you are. Right, let's go. There you go. Down you go. I just need to say, um, if you kind of get to it, so if you're going to try the melee method, you'll have to chase it around quite a bit. Um, I believe it stops fading off and running away eventually. Um, can be a pain in the ass to, uh, to deal with. So just bear in mind that there's stuff around here that's going to want to keep on spawning in on you for a while. A golden rune for you all. Excuse me, moi. Okay, so with all of that dealt with then, we can head up the ladder that you guys might have seen for the last few bits of loot. And then we're going to go back to the beginning to flip the tower. It's going to give us um, some pretty decent stuff. I mean, some of these items I could have really done with earlier in the game. Um, we're going to get the... What's it called? Stargazers alien? Basically, there's an alien that's going to give us plus five intelligence, which I don't really need now. We're good. That kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, kind of useful earlier on. I really wanted to get the Dung Eater, um, the Dung Eater summon for you all, just because I know it's something that maybe isn't all that obvious that we can do, and, uh, so I figure we'll get that, get it that way around now. And then if you like, let's say, decide you're going to rerun the game to get extra loot, um, it'll be the easier way around for you in the next, in the next cycle. Cerulean Crystal, Cerulean Seed, a Talisman, that increases the amount of FP we get from flasks. I don't feel like it's worth a Talisman slot though, can I? Yes we can, fast travel back from now. So, back to the beginning we go. Okay, so once we're here, as we alluded to earlier, we're going to put the statue onto the pedestal. We don't need to watch this. And then, as we go in here, everything is uh, not as it was. We're also going to have to deal with an upgraded version of the NPC we fought against. So just bear that in mind. I wonder if I can... It's got enough range on it. Yes. Clear you off that pedestal there. Surprised it hasn't tried to get away yet. Oh, 
Let me cross the this under. Yes. We clear as much out as we can from this angle just because it's safer. The range has been massively upgraded. I did not realise it would go that far. That's amazing. So I don't actually need more mind until we get the next crystal uh, the next sacred tier, that's good to know. The good thing about doing the way we've done it is um, just underneath where we're stood right now is a talus, no, no, dagger. Or is it a hat? Might be a hat. I can't remember now. Basically, you're going to want to come in here and turn around. Mask of violence. Ah, there we go. It's a hat. Over here for this loot now. And then we can begin heading back for... Where are you? Ha! <laughs> Eat your own medicine. There we are. So that's that dealt with. Almost home free now for the carrying study. You can see kind of just how they want to make this really troubling for you. Hehe. <laughs> Don't get used to running around like a boss like this. As soon as we get through uh, the capital of Lanedale, <laughs> Um, we are going to feel considerably weaker. Uh, so the next part then is the chandeliers. So we want to go over here. And then I always do running jump, so time for the run jump trick. And then over here. Don't think there's two chan. Yeah. Can't remember if there's more rats. Don't think there is. Just make your way around. Be careful because it's just a bit awkward. Then we can jump onto that part that's in the middle. Let's see if we can be mega and hit the bullseye. Nope, <laughs> not quite. So we're actually almost done now with the Karen Hunt study hall itself. Anyway, we will go and do the rise, um, but it's not the same as others, as you guys will see. Um, I don't remember there being any, anything particularly good hidden in any of these, so we're just going to pass straight on through so that we can open this door. Upside down door that it is. And then it's another godskin something or other enemy here. The fat one, I believe. I have no other way to describe it. We have a fat and a skinny one. I don't like referring to either of them favourably. So, uh, get ready for that accordingly. Mmm, we are taking a lot of damage. Uh, doing a lot of damage. Doing fragments. Excuse me, where are you? There you are. Upgrades, huh? It's gonna do its roly poly thing. Damn it. It's my least favourite move. You're still going down there, buddy. Power up time. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by that. 
We still win. It's fine. Across we go. That's the only enemy up here, though. Um, so if you want to rest, like, feel free, but it's not really going to be essential to you. Oh, we can actually get on the horse up here, though. That's interesting. Nice of them to allow that. Sanctuary stone. It's not a good place to farm them, so it's fine. Nothing for, me to, nothing for me to say there, right? We're just going across the bridge. Jump on la button. After taking the grease, we can head on up the stairs. We're on 17 minutes. That works out pretty good for me, actually. And then we have... First Mark of Death. Stargazer early. I was right in the name. That's good. So with that done, then, we are now finished here. We have everything we need. We'll go to Renala's Rise so that we can get the Witch's Costume and then that leaves us in good stead for the next episode. Technically speaking, that Stargazer's Curse Mark, we could use that to go and get a load of extra runes. So that should basically make it so that we can... Um, ...face an extra Dragon Boss, and now that we have Shard Spiral... ...it's not the boss we need to worry about. We could have shown it off on that, actually. But I'm really, I'm really interested to see whether or not um, that dragon will stay there when we move over to the Moonlight Altar. So I'm going to leave it there for now for science. So I haven't tested that before. Uh, oh, we went past it. Promised you guys an armor set. <laughs> it's easy to miss. There we have it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to wear it. I don't... The, uh, the ice stuff is really cool, and the hat is really good for the ice spells. But it really limits what you can do with the rest of your build, so I don't know how I feel about that. We are close to Adulus Moonblade, though, I and mean, I really like Adulus Moonblade. Anybody following the series should now recognise exactly where we're going to come out on the other side of this. So we've already been here. This is Ainsley River Main. Which is going to be our next episode. So, I hope you guys are still enjoying the series. And I'll see you all in the next one, where we're going to pick this up. See you all soon.